In the spirit of full disclosure, I have to use my clone voice for this video. So here is the box I've been waiting for since the end of April when I ordered the Pico Calc Kit. It arrived on August 22nd. I'll tell you in advance that it was well worth the wait. The package was shipped from Hong Kong and as far as I can tell I didn't have to pay a tariff on it. The packaging is impressive. Here's the instruction manual, and all the kit parts are in this clamshell. Let's see if I can pry it open. Okay, so this looks like the main board and back case. Here's the top case and cover glass. The keypad. Oh, there's another cover over the rest of the components. Here's the display. A 32 gigabyte SD card has a bunch of preloaded software on it. Here's the core processor, a Raspberry Pi Pico. And a hex wrench. A package of hex bolts. And these are the two speakers. Let's flip through the manual. First page says, don't panic. A checklist. Some important information. Then we go right into the assembly process. First, the two speakers. Then the display. What's this? Oh wait, there's a label here for the GPIO ports. Next step is the keycaps. mounting the Pico, then put the main board on. You have two pages showing how to connect the display cable.
you put in the SD card, bolt the case together, and you can put in one or two lithium ion batteries Finally, you put on the cover glass and you're done. Well, that looks pretty easy, so now let's do it for real. Okay, so I took out the two speakers. You have to peel off a backing because they have adhesive on them to hold them in place. The speaker goes shiny side up and it has two spring contacts on one side. But it's not clear from the diagram if the contacts go on the right or the left. I'm thinking left. I took a quick look at the main board. If I'm reading the traces right, it may not matter, but I put them on the left, and that worked out fine. Caution. Others point out that the diagram in the manual actually shows them to have the contacts on the out, pointing to the outsides, so the one on the right to the right and the one on the left to the left. Uh, when I test mine with the MP3 player, it seems to have music coming out of both, but you should decide for yourself by uh, really scrutinizing the manual in this case. Next is the display. You have to remove a protective cover and set the display in place. Putting the keycaps in is easy. Now I grab the main board and put the Pico into the socket. I'm being careful not to bend pins. Now you put the main board onto the top case and you have to thread the display cable through the slot. Next, you have to put the display cable into the connector. It's not too clear how to do this, but I eventually figured out the black part of the connector flips up. You insert the cable end and flip the black part down to secure it. Seriously, that was the hardest part of the assembly. Turned out not to be too hard to figure out.
easy enough to put in the SD card. And now I bolt the back cover on. And if you like this kind of video, please like and subscribe. And also check out my short animations. Some people think they are funny. Now, I install the display cover glass, but first, I noticed I got fingerprints on the display. This is the reason a lot of people wear gloves while assembling things. I used a lens wipe and some tissue to clean it off. The glass cover required a little bit of pondering, but basically you have to peel off the backing to reveal the adhesive, but also with a little effort, remove the adhesive from the glass itself and remove a piece of protective paper. When you put it on, you have to have the little open dot in the edge over the power LED in the upper right of the top case. I got a little disoriented at first because that puts the word PicoCalc running sideways down the border. Now my batteries don't come till tomorrow, but as the manual says, you can power it up via the USB-C charging port. And wow, it powered up fine the first time. The whole process overall was very easy. Packaging was superb. Build quality is excellent. It took only 31 minutes in real time to go from unboxing to power up. Hope this helps. 